Dear Wild Dante's friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope everything fine with you and your families. Okay, you have uh, uh, read by the title of this uh, video test that I'm gonna hunting uh, for a field test with the brand new Pedersoli Borbuster Evolution in 4570 government caliber. Uh, this is uh, a test combined because I will field test uh, our Pedersoli Borbuster and the Alessandro Contessa detachable mount with stainless steel insert in two different uh, hunting situations. The first one is uh, on drive for wild boar here in Tuscany and I will use the open sides, just the bare stock standard open sides of, the, of this fantastic leather action. Then I will go for a safari in South Africa for a buffalo and I will hunt a problem, a problem animal. I will talk about uh, this, uh, this kind of adventure later when I will be in South Africa with a long high relief Leopold scope. This is 1.54 times 28 with duplex reticle and the detachable mount with stainless insert by Alessandro Contessa. So I will hunt with this Borbuster Evolution in two different scenarios. We can consider both big game hunting and it will be very interesting because uh, very interesting is uh, this uh, new version of the uh, Pedersoli Borbuster. This is the evolution. I have already tested uh, two versions of this uh, replica of the uh, old uh, Browning uh, project, uh, the 1886 uh, slash 51 model. Here we, we have uh, a different uh, uh, version that uh, is, uh, I think, is a, uh, just between uh, the most modern uh, version, the Shadow, that I have already tested uh, here in Tuscany for wild boar hunting and also in South Africa for a wonderful safari that you can see on my uh, Wild Hunters One Man Band channel on YouTube. But I want to do with the, this uh, new version, the Evolution, something a little bit different. Real big game hunting. As a matter of fact, I will go in South Africa for uh, buffalo hunting. I have a, a problem animal to shot down. And uh, I will use uh, some uh, reloaded ammunition. I will talk to you uh, about it later. And because uh, I want to push it uh, a little bit on the extreme, this uh, kind of, of uh, leather action rifle. Okay, let's start uh, talking about uh, the difference that uh, have this evolution uh, version uh, versus the shadow and the standard one. First of all, this, uh, this version, the evolution, is a little bit... Uh, a, an hybrid between a classical 1886-51 model, so the classic one, and the most modern versions that are made for modern or actual kind of hunting. Okay, not only big game. I'm, I'm talking about the wild boar hunting, okay, or other forms of hunting that uh, we normally do in this time, okay. Uh, the classic, uh, uh, the classic features of this uh, evolution model uh, is, for example, the uh, wood stock. This is uh, a fantastic wood stock that uh, has been made with a soft touch, uh, uh, superficial. Uh, version because uh, uh, this uh, soft touch uh, um, wood is uh, more modern than the, the normal, the standard soft touch that we normally see 
in other kind of rifles, especially with the synthetic stocks. This is uh, uh, something that uh, protect uh, the, the stock from uh, bad weathers, from uh, scratches, and uh, it, at the same time it uh, allows you to have a, a very strong grip. Okay, this is uh, a very, very beautiful uh, uh, soft touch uh, um, painting. Okay, superficial painting that is uh, is it, it doesn't uh, uh, pain you in your uh, your hands because normally uh, the in this, the normal soft touch uh, is a little bit uh, gluing because uh, it's like a glue that uh, remains in your uh, after some times especially when uh, the oil uh, the, of uh, of the firearms uh, touch uh, the the stock and it's not a, a, a beautiful sen sensation. So, this is a modern uh, a feature that I strongly appreciate. Okay? Then we can see uh, a, a nuance of the colors. As a matter of fact, uh, as you can see, uh, there is uh, some silver, not uh, some silver and black, uh, for example, the lever, the, the, the barrel and all the, the, all the uh, sides, for example, the bolt, everything is in uh, black, okay? But here, this uh, part of the firearm is uh, in uh, silver. And it's, it's really beautiful. Uh, uh, this uh, kind of, of uh, mix of three colors, the wood, the silver, and the black, is very elegant. It's a, it's a true Italian style uh, form of uh, aesthetics that I strongly appreciate. More, let's go a little bit on what I consider the best features of, the, of this uh, rifle, or lever, lever action rifle, the, the sights. The sight system is something really complex because uh, you, you can mount uh, here on the bolt. There are two screws for the ghost sight. On the left side, you can see there are the two screws for the, um, for the fixed mount in order to uh, use uh, conventional scope. Then you have uh, a rail, a long rail, that is mixed. You have some weaver and some Picatinny slots, because uh, the Picatinny are for the detachable mounts for the scopes, and the weaver slots are for, for example, for mounting uh, a red dot, for example. So it's very complex. And Inside of this uh, rail, there is uh, the rear side that is completely adjustable, both in elevation and windage, and is reversible. So this, this uh, uh, rear side, you can mount it here or you can mount it here, depending upon your side. I'm, I'm a 60 years old guy, so I prefer to use it uh, here, okay, because I can see it uh, uh, with, uh, with some accuracy. If I put it here, I don't see it very much. So, when I was young, maybe yes, I, I could see it. But this, uh, this uh, uh, project is very intelligent because you can move your, your, uh, your rear sight in, the, in a position that is good for, for you, for uh, having a, a good sight. Okay? Then uh, you have uh, uh, green fiber optics here. The uh, front sight is, uh, uh, is uh, in red fiber optic. This uh, it can be removed and uh, you can uh, have uh, five different uh, height of, uh, of, uh, of the front sight from 6 millimeters to 10 millimeters in order to adjust uh, your uh, zeroing depending upon which kind of ammunition you are going to use. If a western style, so very low uh, velocity, you, you, can, you can easily have uh, uh, your, uh, your uh, 
your uh, uh, correct site, okay, height of the site, or if you use a big game hunting ammunition, you can uh, uh, adjust uh, your sights uh, up, uh, in order to have a, a very accurate zeroing, okay? So, for my test in Africa, for the buffalo, I will use uh, this Leopold scope, it's a long uh, eye relief scope, uh, with uh, this detachable mount by Alessandro Contessa with the steel insert, uh, uh, it's a steel insert system, very tough, very reliable, very accurate, uh, you, can, you can mount and dismount it uh, thousands of times, you never lose uh, the zeroing. And, uh, and this is what exactly I, what I want for uh, buffalo hunting. As a matter of fact, I will hunt for buffalo with the scope mounted, but if, if something goes wrong, uh, if I wound the animal, I can take it off and, I, and then I can use the open sides for close encounters with the buffalo. Okay? In Italy, for wild boar hunting, I will use only the open sides. Let's talk, let's talk a little bit about uh, the barrel. The barrel is uh, 19 inches long, so enough, good enough uh, to, uh, to hold every possible ammunition, reloaded or, or commercial, because now the, the, modern, uh, the most modern ammunition for this caliber uh, has uh, very fast powder, so you don't really need uh, long barrel. This is um, 19 uh, inches are okay. okay? The, the tubular magazine holds five rounds plus one uh, inside the chamber, so uh, you have uh, the opportunity to mount uh, uh, the, the muzzle uh, brake here. And uh, another nice feature is uh, that uh, this lever okay, is interchangeable. So you, can, you, you don't need to open all the action in order to change okay, your lever. There is uh, another version of the lever which is uh, a little bit uh, uh, bigger, uh, wider. Uh, if, you have, uh, if, if you wear uh, heavy gloves, especially in winter time, you can uh, uh, change very quickly through two screws uh, without uh, having uh, the uh, without uh, having the necessity to uh, dismount all, all your rifle, it's very easy and very fast. This is a very intelligent uh, feature. Let's talk a little bit now about the ammunition. I will use two different ammunition, both reloaded with the Basquiat and Pellagri powders. I'm going to give you the, the, the relative. Uh, uh, recipes uh, uh, later. I will use a 250 grains monoflex uh, bullet uh, which is faster and uh, flatter and uh, it has a, a very deep penetration. I will use it on big game hunting in Africa for the buffalo and here in Italy for the wild boar I, I will use the FTEX 325 grains. Now I want to take some confidence with the trigger, so I will use this commercial ammunition, the lever action ammunition by Hornady, but then for my uh, field test I will use reloaded ammunition with the same uh, bullets of the commercial, but I will push it a little bit more because I need more energy, especially for the buffer. Okay, no more talking now. Let's go uh, down uh, at the shooting range. I want to take, have the confidence a little bit with the trigger. I want to zero at 45, 50 meters the open sights for wild boar hunting. And then I will pre-zero it, my scope at 66 meters here. And then uh, I will uh, make uh, all the zeroing, the definitive uh, uh, zeroing at 100 meter in South Africa, okay? Okay, now let's go shooting and hunting.
okay, I am uh, uh, here at the tunnel. I will pre-zero the, the open sites at 45 meters with uh, this uh, lever evolution stock Hornady uh, cartridges. Uh, they are the same, I will use the same bullet, but I will uh, reload the, the cartridge in South Africa with the Baschieri and Pellagri uh, powder. Uh, here, uh, once that I have pre-zeroed the open size at 45 meters, I will pass up at 66 meters with the uh, uh, long eye relief uh, uh, Leopold scope uh, together with the Alessandro Contessa uh, detachable mount. Uh, I want to verify if uh, everything is okay here uh, and uh, in order to make just a little adjustment uh, in Grahamstown in South Africa, okay? Okay, let's start now with the open sites. first shot went a little bit too high on the left. On the left is, is my fault because uh, I was uh, a little bit on the left side. I, I, I just see that it was my fault. But uh, for what it concerned, the high is too high. So now we, we have uh, make a regulation on the, on the rear side and then I will shot another shot just to verify everything. As you can see, this is the first shot. I was too high on the left. The second shot, so I'm aiming here. So the height is, is good, is good. 50 meters is good. But now I, I want to uh, move the point on impact a little bit on the right because I'm too, too much to the left. And then I will pass up at the other target at 66 meters with the a scope and a detachable mount by Contessa. I'm uh, low on the right. Still a little bit on the right, but I'm okay. 
and uh, almost in the bullseye, in the in the black bullseye. So, for uh, I I will give uh, three or four click on the left, and I'm okay. Okay, uh, with the scope and the detachable mount by Contessa, this is, was the first shot, the second, the third. So, uh, I gave some click on the left, I just two click uh, up, but as a pre-zeroing uh, is okay, because I will use there a, a completely different uh, ammunition, even if uh, with the same bullet. So, uh, it's okay like this. For what it concerns the open sights, as I told you before, first, second shot, then I went crazy because I, I gave these two shots completely out. I, I cooled a little bit, then I take my shot very quietly, very tranquil, and then I aim it here and the, the shot went exactly there. So now, uh, I'm going to hunt for wild boar on drive here in Tuscany with the open sights. Then uh, the 1st of February I will go to Grahamstown, South Africa uh, at the Grace Le Gift Lodge uh, hunting with uh, PH uh, Harry Einen and we will go for the buffalo with the uh, detachable mount and the scope and we will do also some other animals with the open sights. See you very soon on the hunting field. Friend of wild hunters, welcome to the hunting field. Today, wild boar hunting the first with the boar past revolution. It's a nice post, average shooting is around 50 meters. I have uh, here from 10 meters to 100 over there on the top of the hill. There are a lot of animals today, so I expect to make some shots. Okay, the, the dogs are barking right now, so let's see. size a wild boar, a group of four came, I shot down three, and another one has gone away on the top of the hill. Um, I didn't feel very, felt very confident to shoot there because uh, there is the line of the sky, I didn't want to shoot there, okay, but it's a good exercise for the buffalo. Questo è il primo animale che ho preso. This is the first animal. And then there is the second one over 
verde, eh. ce n'è un secondo laggiù. Eccolo lì. Il terzo è dentro una macchia. The third one is inside a thick bush, so I will take it out later. These are two of the three animals I've got. Uh, I'm very satisfied because uh, uh, this uh, rifle has a, an exceptional uh, ergonomy. It has, uh, it's, uh, it's very fast on the acquisition of the target. And uh, just uh, a little bit to take confidence with the trigger. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a beast for uh, wild boar hunting on drive and uh, you will see also in Africa for the buffalo. Okay, let's continue the test now. Dear friends of wild hunters, second uh, drive, I have a very nice post because uh, I have uh, the sun at my back, the wind is coming from my back, from the right to the left. We expected to find the wild boar on the top of the hill there, so they will come down. Here there is no more vegetation, no more leaves, so there are many trees, but uh, it won't be very difficult to find uh, the right uh, line to shoot, okay? even if uh, they come very, very fast down. They, th there is uh, a little uh, river there, so they have to uh, cross the river and they will have to stop a little bit. So. I will have the best chance uh, okay, to shoot. The average shooting range here is from uh, zero to maybe 35 meters, no more. So I have all the possible advantage. Okay, let's see. In the meantime, that uh, the guys with the dogs uh, started the drive. I want to tell you what happened four, four days, just four days ago during uh, the drive. Uh, it, it was r raining dogs and cats. I have never hunted with uh, such a rain, such a level of heavy rains during a drive. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't use the, the video camera, so I, I just uh, I have uh, only the opportunity to tell you what, what's happening. Uh, it was almost the end of the drive, and uh, suddenly at my left side, at uh, just 45-50 meters, appeared uh, a very big wild boar, a male, 90 kilos and he was it, it was looking at me uh, he was very confused because uh, I had uh, a car a jeep car just uh, two meters from my right and uh, he was very confused he didn't know what what he was looking at so I had 
all enough thought time to rise my my evolution, aim and shoot. This is something very rare because normally when they spot you they run very fast, obviously. But I don't know what's happening to this uh, big male. It wasn't wounded because uh, I I check uh, on the carcass very properly because I wanted to to understand what the behavior of this animal. But this is something that sometimes could happen. This is the first time to tell you the truth in my in my hunting career. But it's something that could happen. Okay, let's see now. Is the the dog start barking now? So let's hunt. This is a very strange post. I have uh, a thick bush there and uh, some clean at 20, 30 meters. They will run. I'm sure that they, they will come from this side running. So it won't be a, 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 an easy shot. Anyway, we will see. fermo è fermato bravo 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 vai vai bravo bravo vai vai medium size wild boar 30, 40 kilos, uh, but uh, it was running like hell, it, was not, it wasn't, it wasn't a, an easy shot, but everything went okay. Vieni qua, vieni! The second uh, wild boar that I have shot is uh, dead uh, right there. there is, the dog is barking, but he's dead. Very good. Vieni qua, qua, qua! Qua, vieni!
un sacco di sangue. There is a lot of blood here. Qua dove gli ho sparato c'è sa tanto sangue. Where I have shot it, there is a, a lot of blood, as you can see here. a lot of blood here una marea di sangue qua eccolo qua il verro eccolo qua here it is the big boar wow it's a big boar è un bel animale eh? bel berro eccolo qua eccolo qua quattro animali in un giorno è una cosa, un'esperienza meravigliosa bellissimo esperienza incredibile quattro animali uno più bello dell'altro con un'arma a leva non è una cosa da tutti i giorni sono veramente soddisfatto di quello che sono riuscito a fare con quest'arma ci vediamo in Africa a questo punto here it is the other wild boar Hai capito lo ieri? Eccolo il trattore, è arrivato. Who is uh, more happy than me? Maybe Mr. Chu. <laughs> <laughs>